Hi, Teresa here with Grove Financial and Associates. I am here with Anthony from Reynolds Restoration. And today we are gonna be talking um, about some safety tips with space heaters, with the economy and the prices rising with electric. I think this is something that a lot of people are doing these days to try and provide some heat in their home, correct? Absolutely. We are definitely seeing a uh, increase of, of that over the last couple months. Uh, we we usually see see that at this time, but there's definitely been more. Uh, as you said, because of the increased cost of uh, heating your house the uh, traditional way, where um, it, it has definitely uh, you know led to some kind of unfortunate circumstances, and uh, you know, we've had a couple recently. Uh, one where uh, at about two in, two in the morning, they had a space heater running in a sunroom type of uh, three season room, mm -hmm. and uh, that that caused the fire that uh, completely burned the entire house, and they lost everything. Mm -hmm. The cause of the fire was a space heater. Uh, it was an older space heater. So that's definitely something that you, uh, you know, do not want to uh, you know, be using on a regular basis. It's something that is a little older. Mm -hmm. um, and definitely the types of space heaters um, you know, can, uh, can be an issue. If anything falls uh, down in front of it, whether it's from uh, a child or a pet, or a pet uh, knocking something down, it can very easily start a fire. Um, you know, this happened kind of in the middle of the night on the most mm -hmm. recent one, and uh, you know they don't know whether the space heater itself malfunctioned, or if something with the electric malfunctioned, or if it was something that a pet knocked in front of it and that started the fire. Mm -hmm. So, but a pretty unfortunate, yeah. uh, you, know, you know, circumstance. Yeah. Are there any tips that you can share as far as you had said, what, like older types of space heaters compared to now? Yeah, there's a All couple the different time. types of space heaters, uh, you know, and, and they've gotten a little sophisticated, meaning there's almost a temperature control on them now, and it does lend itself to people kind of using them to regulate a temperature in a room. Uh, I, I still think that that's pretty dangerous mm -hmm. because you, you know that is running it uh, when you're not there, and you know it is uh, you know it is something that can definitely cause a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. um, you know we, if if left unattended. Okay. So uh, you know I would uh, really only only use those uh, you know when when you are you know present, yeah. and uh, you know definitely. Uh, either have them off and or un unplugged mm -hmm. because you know even if you have a newer one but your house is older and um, you know you know, depending on the breakers that you have um, you know and it may not trip the breaker and, and you may start an electrical fire which uh, you know could definitely happen yeah yeah that is good information um Great. I think that kind of wraps up what we wanted to really touch base on. I just feel like just those simple little tips to share is so important. And, um, you know, making sure that you have an up-to-date, probably, space heater. Absolutely. Making sure that you are in the space that you are providing that heat and keeping an eye on it and turning it off when you leave or leave the room and unplugging in it is important. So yeah, for sure. awesome. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time and sharing that with us. And um, we are going to provide a link here if you want to check out Reynolds Rest Restoration. Obviously, we hope that that is not the case, but Correct. you know, you never know. And if you ever have questions or may need this resource, we're going to go ahead and share that link. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Thank you for your time. Yeah.